I was able to uh, mess around a little bit with this model and uh, get it all sewn into a nice solid. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, a couple of issues that I found. Okay, you notice that this is a crease here. If this vertex is smooth, it doesn't quite sit on there because this is trying to smooth all the sub D and trying to smooth across here. So even though it's constrained, it doesn't look very good until you go, until you turn it on and you, you make a crease. Um, now, if this was smooth going across here, it would be a different story. So what you do is when you make that vertex a crease, it snaps right in. So you can just take a look at your corners and see where that, you know, where you have a vertex and you have like a crease in your original one. You probably want to crease the vertices. You don't need to crease this edge because it will kind of gradually do that for you. Um, the other thing I did is I unified the symmetry because I noticed that things were different here and here in terms of the topology. So, um, uh, you know, it just wasn't going to work with symmetry just because there's a face here and then there's only one edge here. So um, I had to do that. The other thing I did, the other important thing I did down here was that Um, because there are, you know, there's vertices here, these edges tend to think that, um, there's actually a couple different ways to approach this, but, um, the way I approached this was I put an extra vertex right in here. So like I grabbed these two and I said, uh, insert loop. And then I grabbed the, went into non-subdivision mode, kind of moved this over to the, ver near the vertex, and I said two vertex. And then I, uh, I creased it again. And actually, let me turn transparency off for a second. I creased it. Um, and then I constrain, I had to, you had to reconstrain these edges to edge and make sure that the, uh, there is no tangency on those. So there is no tangency, so uh, it's good already. So I had to do something like that over on this side as well. And that seemed to kind of take care of the problem. Uh, the other thing I did is I also, because this was a fairly big gap area on this one is this one as well, then I thought, well, I'll, I'll put an extra edge in here. And you'll notice that this vertex is constrained um, to vertex, and I've also creased it. So I think all of these are creased now. Like I believe all of these are creased if you smooth them. You can see it, it's not so good. Um, now on this side, I inserted two sets of edges. Now it could be, could be I don't really need this one. I thought I might, but that probably is going to work because it worked on the other side. So now, other, I mean, I've, all I've really done is just added like three or four edges in here. That one. Um, and then made sure the vertices where there are, the vertices are creased when they hit an edge up here. Um, 
There's an other, another way to do it. I'm not sure how well it will work. But if, for example, I didn't have this edge, um, what I might be able to do with this edge here is because typically an edge will need to match up its edge, and, and you, know, you can see it's kind of getting, you know, it's kind of spiked up in here because it's lost. Uh, it will roll over. Uh, a face, a tangent face. So I could say two face and did that do it? No, it did not do it. I guess it's not going to work with two face. Um, sometimes you can get this to work two face because it's it's outside the face. I think you got to use two edge. Um, Let's remove that constraint. Let's move this one over here and insert this edge back in. Two vertex, two vertex. Um, Two edge, override constraint, no tangency, and then uh, take a look at it. And we probably, when you see this sort of thing, sometimes you can you can fix that with like creasing. There we go. Okay, let's see if we get it. Messed around a little bit. Let's see if it's still working. Okay, so it did not knit. Um, oops. I suspect that's the reason right there that it, maybe it didn't knit. Well, let's take a look. We can go into knit. And uh, let's see if we can find the edge where it didn't knit. This is kind of what I did. Ooh, that one. Ah, okay, that's interesting. So this one. Oh, I must have forgotten to constrain that edge. So let's let's go back in here. Sometimes when you're when you're messing around with these things, you can easily forget to constrain something back to the edge. Okay, let's see now if that takes care of the whole issue. Okay, it seemed to be knitting now. All right, so it was just a sort of a user error thing there. Um, let's make sure I can turn the create solid back on. And I can. And so we're back with a nice solid. I uh, hope that helps. Um, yeah, it is a little tricky, especially when you get these little short edges and things like that in here, how to get this all constrained, but it can be done. Um, so the, the keys are, um, constrain the vertices, make them creases, 
especially in the areas like this. It was a nice smooth thing like in the middle of this one. You don't need to make a crease, but where there's edges coming in from the other side, making it a crease usually works good. So I think I have a crease on this one, this one, that one, and these two back here, and maybe even that one. So I put creases on those vertices as well as uh, constrain them to the vertex. So I hope that helps.